Galileo, end of 16th, beginning of 17th century, the father of modern science, father of the scientific method, the motivation behind his research was to understand the nature of God's creation from God's own perspective, transcending the limitations and illusions of the human senses. This could be done, he proposed, by using mathematical reasoning, for he believed that mathematics was God's own language. So he wanted to understand mathematically because he thought that this was a divine perspective in a sense. So you see the physical and the divine or the natural and the supernatural, if you will, I don't love that terminology. The line is starting to blur here and starting to shift towards that which is physical is that which is true, or the, the depth of God's knowledge. So then the turn is, well, if you can pursue the physical world and knowledge of the physical world, then when you have an explanation of the physical world, you no longer need God to explain it. You no longer need the existence of God because God is the God of the gaps, as some modern scholars might put it. And when you figure out the gaps, then you no longer need God. This was an inaccurate shift as well from the historical Christian understanding of God, his purpose, his ontology, his nature. Supernatural questions for the church were relegated to the church. Scientific investigation of the natural world was separate. That which is beyond nature, leave it for the church. That which is immediately observable, that which is material, you have to investigate it by scientific means. This is what Galileo put forward. So he reversed the hierarchy of knowledge. It was no longer that the church, religion, Christianity in his context was the fullness of the truth. Instead, you have to put that to the side. It's not as authoritative and you have to shift to the free exploration of the sciences and mathematics. A shift away from the why and towards the how and that will get you to greater knowledge of God. Now, the Catholic Church did not immediately respond negatively to Galileo. Instead, lay academic advisors to the Catholic Church were the ones who began the conflict with Galileo. They saw it as a threat to their scholasticism, to their philosophies, and that his theories would bring the church down. And so then the reaction against Galileo. 